Hey everyone, today's Monday and I thought that I would show you my jewelry that I bought from Kohl's. When was it? Saturday night. Me and Sue Ellen uh, went out Saturday and had a great evening. We ate at Cheddar's and uh, I showed you that dessert. I still can't get over that dessert. We had never ordered, had never ordered that dessert before. I usually order the monster cookie dessert when I'm at Cheddar's and it's delicious also. But I wanted something different, so we ordered the hot fudge cake, and it was humongous. I still cannot get over how big. That was the biggest dessert by far I've ever ordered at a restaurant. Me and her ate what we wanted of it and still left probably a third or fourth, at least a fourth of it. But anyway, we went to Kohl's, and we did some shopping. And I'm sorry about the weird, weird shadowing. I guess it's that time of the day that part of my porch is sunny and part of it is uh, sh um, shaded. So that's where this line is coming from. But anyway, um, I was going to show you the jewelry. I showed you the two tops that I got Sunday, yesterday. Uh, and then I told you I would show you the jewelry later because I have several pieces. And um, when I went into Kohl's, I didn't have any intentions. Uh, we actually had went in there. I'll tell you the story. Hope and Autumn and Gage had been out all day together. Uh, they were separate from us. Hope had went out several hours before I did, but we all ended up at the same town. And so I met up with her at the mall, and she was telling me about a little dress that she saw at Kohl's. And she does have a Kohl's charge card, too, but she didn't have enough on it to get the dress, and she wanted the dress for Easter, and she was low on funds that day, too. So I, me and her and Sue Ellen, we went back up to Kohl's that evening, or it was after dark, actually. It was getting late because the mall, had all, it was almost time for the mall to close. Or maybe the mall was closed. And it was it was after 9 o'clock. So we went on up to Kohl's. And I went ahead and let Hope pick out her Easter dress. And I just put it on my charge card and she'll give it back to me. I really had no intentions of buying any anything in Kohl's. But, of course, when you go in there, you have to look around. So I saw those tops. And I knew I wanted those right away because I had been looking. I'd been looking at those tops in magazines and stuff. The ones with, like, the flowy, the big sleeves or the flowy sleeves. I actually want to find uh, some tops. And you may have seen them either in white or black, that has the big puffy, puffy sleeves, real big puffy and kind of fitted right here, but they're real big, like pillowy, like a big pillow almost on your arm, real cute, and I'm, I want to find some blouses like that, but these kind of remind me of that same look, so I love the blouses, and if you didn't see them, it's on the yesterday's video from Sunday. But anyway, I've got several pieces of jewelry here, which they, uh, either they did not put one of my necklaces in the bag, or I've lost it somewhere. I cannot find it. And I hate that, but it was just a few dollars. But it was a real cute little silver necklace that came down in like a V. It would have run real cute with my uh, earrings I've been wearing. But it's not in there. But everything else was in there. But that they lost it out, or either I lost it out somewhere. Okay, so we might as well get started. The first little pair of earrings is a sterling silver pair of earrings. And they were, um, they're real cute. And if you can see, they just slide through your ear. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to wear these today. So we'll go ahead and do that and see if I can get those on on camera for you. I'm not really sure how you get it out of the thing. It's a little thin chain. I'm not sure how you get it out of the um, thing without breaking it. Okay, let's see. I might have to edit some of this out. Definitely, I cannot get this out. Oh, well, I'll come back to it. I will uh, stop the camera and get these out and put them on and show you how cute they are. But it's a little chain, if you can see, that'll go, well, one part of this and the chain will go through my lobe, my hoe, and uh, it, one will hang on the back side and one will hang on the front side. But these are the ones I'm going to wear today. And when I get those on, I will show them to you. So I'm going to lay them over here at the side. But they are sterling silver. They were originally $35 and I got them for 90% off. So I got these for $3.50. And I could not pass this jewelry up that night. That's the reason I ended up using my uh, Kohl's card. Because I didn't have enough cash. I think I ended up getting... Uh, like seventy some dollars worth of jewelry, but when I used the card, it took thirty percent of that off. So I ended up getting a real deal. So I even got it cheaper than what it says. But anyway, these were um, sterling silver, thirty five dollars originally. Got them for three fifty, and I am going to wear those. Okay, this next pair is uh, by Jennifer Lopez. I love these. They're real lightweight. Um, they were these are not gold plated or anything. They're just costume jewelry. Those were like I said, sterling silver. 
but they were these were originally fourteen dollars, and I got them for five sixty. So I got these for sixty percent off. All this jewelry was anywhere from sixty to ninety percent off, and that's the reason I just could not pass it up. And you know me, I like anything like the gold and the silver, and I like I like uh oh dropped them. I like hoops and bars, and I like plainer jewelry, but I love these. I'll be excited to wear those. Okay, the next pair is uh, by a brand called Color, and it's just some little stones, and they're like a dark, you can't really tell on here, but they look like a really dark, they may just be black, because in the store, I thought they looked like a dark blue, but I really think they're black, which will work better for me, because I, I would probably get more use out of them if they were solid black. But they're black stones with little CZs around them. And they were originally uh, $12, and I got them for $3.60. They were 70% off. And I think those will be so cute on. I don't have anything like this either. But I love those. Okay, this next pair is a sterling silver pair, and I really love these. I, like, I didn't have nothing. Like, my belly's growling. I'm not ate anything yet. But they look like a little figure eight, kind of. And they're sterling silver, and they were originally $55, and I got them for 90% off. So I got these for $5.50. And you really can't tell how pretty this jewelry is in the package, but when I do wear them, of course, I will tell you about them. But those are really cute. Okay, this next pair of earrings is a 14 karat gold over sterling silver, and they're just little dangly. Teardrop shaped earrings. Real, all this stuff's real lightweight. Um, I've had my ears pierced ever since I was like four or five years old, and we back then we done it the old fashioned way. We would uh, numb it with a cube of ice and stick a sewing needle through it. And so I remember being at my cousin's house, and we done them together. And I was only like four or five years old. And my mom didn't care. We, she wasn't even. I don't even think she was there. I'm sure I asked for her permission, but my ear, my ears have been pierced uh, since I was four, no later than five, and I'll be uh, 48. So they've been pierced a long time. What 43 years? But uh, we done it with the ice and the old sewing needle. Now I have had a second hose put in with the piercing gun, and I did have this part up here pierced one time. Actually, I tried this twice and had to let it grow up both times because it hurt so bad. It never would heal up. And I would just wear like a little gold um, hoop or a little uh, CZ up there. And I thought it was a cute look at the time. It was several years ago. My kids were young. and uh, But it never would heal up. And I couldn't lay like my head on that, on that side. But anyway, um, and I did let my uh, second hose grow up too. I'm just not much for multiple earrings. As I got older, I just like the one, one set of earrings. But anyway, what I was going to say is my ears have been pierced since I was five. Well, I've tugged and pulled and got them caught on stuff so much over the years that my hose on the lobes are stretched out. And if I wear heavy jewelry, it pulls and tugs on that and it just looks bad. So I don't like to see that stretched out like that. So these are all real lightweight. So when I do pair, uh, wear, when I do go shopping for earrings, I always make sure they're lightweight and that they're not going to tug down on my earlobe. I hate that stretchy look like this. And I want to tell you something real quick, though. You may think this is gross, but I thought it was sweet. Uh, my cat, he passed away almost, oh uh, gosh, he passed away last fall, a little bit over a year. And uh, he was 13. His name was Percy. And I rescued him at a church, uh, a churchyard. We had went to this church for uh, some kind of Halloween. It was like a a Halloween party, but it was like All Holy Eve, they called it, Hallelujah Night or something like that. But we went to this church, and we were outside because they were giving out treats and candy, and you know how that is. Well, I heard this little kitten, and it wasn't my home church. It was one of my friend's churches that I was just going and helping out with. And I heard this little kitten, and I just kind of searched it out, and I went around the church, and it was in the back. And that was my little kitten. His name, his name was Percy, and he was starved to death. 
He was eat up with fleas, and he had been, um, I guess, separated from his mom. He only looked like he was about four or five weeks old, but he was eating on his own at that time. So he, maybe he was around five weeks old, but he was so so skinny and wet and cold and uh, eat up with fleas and bugs. And I had swore that I would never get a cat. I always liked dogs better than cats. We never had cats growing up. My mom and dad never had cats when we were little. You know, it wasn't that I hated cats. I just wasn't used to them. I was never around cats. So, I uh, never did even desire to have a cat. I always had dogs. But I rescued that little kitten. And he became one of the biggest parts of our lives and our family. And uh, so, I took him, put him in a box and took him back to my friend's house that night. Because I think I spent the night with her and cleaned him up, bathed him, and fed him, and had him for 13 years, and he ended up being a big, old, fat, lazy cat. I bet that cat almost weighed 30 pounds, but what I was going to tell you, where he had been separated at, from his mommy at a young age, I don't know if someone had set him off, or he wandered off and got lost, or what. He always wanted to nurse on my earlobe. I know, you probably think that's funny. And he would crawl up on my uh, neck, up on my shoulder. He was so tiny. He wasn't just that big. He was so tiny. And he would suck or nurse on my earlobe. And I let him do it all of his life. It's a wonder this ear. And it was always the right ear. He would want to switch off. I hope you guys don't think this is crazy, but I, I told you when I started my channel, I was just going to share everything with you. I'm an open book. But he would switch off. And his little, if you know anything about cats, their little um, tongues are like sandpaper. And he would nurse and suck on my earlobe until it would make it sore. And I'd have to make him like switch ears. So he would switch off. But usually he wanted the right ear. And everybody said, if you don't quit letting that cat suck on your earlobes, you're going to have stretchy ears. And I think he did do a little damage. But anyway, he'd done that his whole life. You know, if I would sit down with him, he would uh, make his way up to my ear and lay there and nurse on my ear until he'd fall asleep. And then he would purr or snore in my ear. And I miss him so bad. Uh, he died at the time when I was staying at my mom's recuperating from ankle surgery. And so I didn't get to see him a whole lot the last couple of months. I would only, I was laid up for two months in the bed from the time that I, you know, I had to go back and forth to the doctor, but I was on crutches. And for the first little bit, I was in a wheelchair for weeks. But uh, it was a really bad experience in my life. And I'll share, share that story with you more later. But I broke my left ankle. And I and where I have dogs and I have a Great Dane and stuff, and he's bad to uh, jump and run, we was afraid that he would knock my feet out from under me when I was trying to get around on the... I had a walker and I had crutches. And I ended up uh, graduating to a boot. And I had to wear my boot for a, a couple months. Now, when I did get into the boot, I did eventually come home and walk around in the boot. Uh, around the dogs but for two months I stayed at my mom's and um, during that time my cat I knew that he wasn't looking well he was losing weight but he was so old and I didn't want to fool with aggravating him with the vet and stuff because like I said he was 13 and I thought he was just getting older but he ended up going downhill really quick and he died while I was staying at my mom's and my husband of course stayed home from work when we knew that he was passing I asked my husband to stay home from work and take care of him, and he did. And, of course, he, you know, he stayed with him until he passed. But I grieved so much over my cat, and I still, I still miss him. And, uh, but, no, he was my baby. I rescued him. His little paws, I had him, um, uh, I had him fixed, of course, and uh, he was bad. At first, he was bad to spray things, you know, how cats are. Well, I had him fixed, and of course, it calmed all that down, and then after I had him fixed, he just laid around, and he was a big, fat, lazy cat, and uh, his little paws, and from the time that I rescued him from four or five weeks old until he died at 13, his little paws never touched the ground. He was never outside. He never wanted to go outside. He was always an inside baby, and that's where he wanted it. He wanted to be in. He liked to look out the windows and stuff. He'd, cl he'd cl climb up in the windows and look out the doors, but if you'd open the door or something, he'd run. He, he was, a, he was a really a literal fraidy cat. He was a scaredy cat. You've heard him talk about scaredy cats. Well, he was one of them, but he was the biggest, sweetest old baby, and, and he was so fat. And one of these days, I might show you a picture. I'm not good at incorporating pictures and stuff into my videos, but one of these days, I'll try to show you a picture of him. But anyway, that was just a, a rant, wasn't it? Or a, a going off on a rabbit trail, they call it. But anyway, that's one reason that my earlobes stretched out a little bit was from my kitty cat. But these are the gold. Uh, did I tell you about these? 14 karat gold over silver. Uh, originally 50 and I got them for $5. 
they were 90% off. I said, when you can get real good jewelry, you know, these won't fade. Of course, I don't get my jewelry and stuff wet. I don't shower in jewelry, any kind of jewelry. I never did, not even real jewelry. I always take my, that's one of the first things to come off when I get home is my eyelashes, my hair extensions, and my jewelry because I think all that gets uncomfortable as the day goes. But I love these. I like, I'll be excited to wear these. Okay, and then um, I have another sterling silver pair that's kind of like the first ones I showed you that go th that thread through your um, earlobe, your piercing, and these are more like a little S-shaped where those were more um, like this. I don't know if you can see the difference. These are more curved like this, and these are more like S-shapes. But I think I'm going to wear these today. But uh, did I tell you these were 90% off? They were regularly 45. These were regularly 35. They're basically the same earrings, only shaped different. But these were regularly 35, and these were regularly 45. I don't know why. Actually, these might be a little bigger. But I got these ones for 350, and these ones for 450. 90% off. You can't beat that. Not for good jewelry. Okay, here's another sterling pair, sterling silver. And I love these. These were one of my favorite pairs. I really like those. But they were originally 50 and they were marked down to five, 90% off. I love all these because they're good quality and they're real, real lightweight. I will not even be able to tell that I have these in. Love those. Okay, and then I got a 14 karat gold over sterling silver necklace. And I love a little, I love little, I like chunky, I got, I have several big chunky chain necklaces and uh, CZ necklaces, but I like little dainty necklaces too. But it's, like I said, it's gold plated. And I'm not sure how long the chain is on this one. It may be an 18, 18 inch chain. I'm hoping it's more like a 16 inch, but I'll know more about it later. But this was 90% off. It was originally 70 and I got it for seven. And I'm going to enjoy that little necklace. I like to layer these two with different chains. But I love that. And this last set um, is by Simply Vera. Vera Wang. Now, you know I love her stuff. And it was an originally 38 And I got it uh, for 80% off. And it was seven sixty. And it Now, this is a substantial piece. It's gunmetal. I don't know how well you can tell. It's got the big rope chain. And this big, thick pendant, see, it raises up like that, which it's hollow in the back. It's not super heavy, but it's substantial. I love that. I think that is so edgy. And then I got, did I tell you I got this for uh, 760 It was originally um, 38 And then I got the matching earrings, if you can tell. Simply Vera. I love this. I love this set. And these were uh, originally 14 and I got 60% off of them, and they were $560. i am going to really like this together. I love that. But all this jewelry was at least 60 to 90% off, and uh, I'm going to uh, show you a couple more pieces of, of jewelry that I already had that uh, is special to me. Not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before this last one, Kayla had got me this little bracelet with my baby on it. This is Kanan when he was just, I don't even know how old he was here. He was just young. Matter of fact, you know what? I think I'm going to wear this today. I've not worn it in a while. I don't like wearing it uh, all the time because I don't want to ruin it. It's a keepsake and I want to keep it forever. But I've not worn it in a while, so I think I'll stick it on. And It's never good to try to put jewelry on uh, when you're filming, is it? Especially trying to put it on with my left hand. But I love anything with a chain. I'm a big fan of a chain. But she ordered that for me. Look at that precious face. I love this picture of him. Can you see that? Does that not just make you happy? He has the cutest little round face. He's like his mommy. She always had the prettiest little round head and face. But that's my Canaan man right there. We call him Canaan man or Sugar Booger Bear or Biggie Bear. He's got all kind of little nicknames. It looks cute with the little bracelet that I got my little bracelet that Izzy sent me with my C. It looks cute layered with that, doesn't it? I think I'll keep those on. And then I got my express ring on. And I'm going to put one of those pair of earrings on. But yeah, that's my baby. And then... Well, I told you this was Christmas before last that she uh, ordered that for me. 
and I wouldn't take anything for it. And then the very same Christmas, uh, Hope ordered me, or she didn't order me. I think she uh, had them made at the mall. Uh, she ordered me these little charms, this little puzzle pieces, and one says Mamu and one says Gage. And we are like a little puzzle. We stick right together, me and him, or he and I. It seems funny saying he and I. It, it, when you when you don't speak proper English and you try to, it don't even sound right. But these are my little charms. It's got my baby on it and my name on it. And then this uh, is a special piece to me because my son Isaac and my little daughter-in-law, Jess, bought this for me. I'm, I can't remember if they got this for my birthday. I think it was my birthday. Or maybe it, maybe it, was, it might have been Mother's Day. But it's a beautiful little heart that says Mom. And I do wear this quite often. I love it. And it came with some CZs that I wear all the time. But they're up here under my camera. So I'm not going to mess with those. And of course, you've seen my um, my jewelry box in front of me. And my camera is stacked up on and my Bible and some books. <laughs> but of course, I'll, I'll show you this again. This is the this Betsy Johnson set that my daughters uh, bought for me when I was in the hospital with my uh, ankle. And I love this. I had seen this when we were out shopping together once before, and I pointed it out, and they remembered it, and they went and surprised me with it, and I wouldn't take anything for this piece, I, or this set, I love it. And then, of course, I've got a lot of little uh, sentimental uh, jewelry. Uh, let me show you a couple pieces. I've got them in a little baggie. It's stuff that I don't wear anymore, but uh, I love this. I've had this ever since. Ever since my kids were really little. Which I should get it out and wear it. It's cute. And it says number one mom. I love that. Look at the little. The three kids for my kids. And of course. Um, this is Kayla with the pink. This is Hope with a lighter pink. And this is Isaac with the garnet. Kayla was October. Hope is June. And Isaac is January. And I used to wear this all the time. I don't even remember where I got. I had a special order, but I don't remember. But I love that little necklace. I ought to put it on one day. Okay. And then this little ring right here. I don't know if you can tell. It's all faded. And it was just a cheap little ring. It was a little silver plated ring with two little um, hearts. I don't know how well you can tell. But my brother that passed away, Rodney, Bought this for my daughter Kayla when she was young because he, he loved her and she loved him. He even helped baptize her when she was a young girl. But he bought this for her when she was little and I would not take anything for that ring. Would not take anything for that. Okay. I don't know why I'm in such a sentimental mood. Now this little ring, it's a little gold. It was real gold with the little diamond clusters in it. I don't know how well you can see. It'll probably fit my pinky. It does. That my granny, my uh, great-grandmother, it was my mom's grandmother, she was a huge, huge, we called her granny, and she was a huge part of our life, and um, me and my mom were both uh, very special to her. Uh, we were her babies. We were her picks, and she did let everybody know that, but she bought me this when I was a young teenage girl. I'm not even for sure how old I was, but it was the first, my first real diamond my granny bought me. And would not take the world for this. Love that. Okay. Now this little ring. Let me show you. It's even bent. Look how thin. But look how bent this is. Can you see that? The band is. Let me hold it next to my. Let me hold it next to my hair or something. Can you see how bent. that? It's a little gold. Thin gold band. With a little heart. Look at this. And a little diamond. And my husband bought this for me our first Christmas together when we were dating. We got together in September of 1984. And we got married in September of 85. We dated a year. But in uh, Christmas of 84, he bought me this little ring. And that's probably one of the most special pieces that I have. He bought me this along with my uh, a Bible. And I still have the Bible too. It's in storage. And then, let's see what else we have. This was my husband's class ring. I used to wear it. You know how cool we were back then when we wore class rings. Yeah, we thought that meant something. And it did. But that's his class ring. 
And then these are just some little, um, this was a ring that I bought him. Uh, I told you before I've had several wedding sets. Let me tell you my story. A lot of you girls like long videos. This is going to be a long one. When we first got married, like I told you, he had just fought, he started his first job. We didn't have anything. I was 16, very young, spoiled and bratty. I was the only girl in my family, which, you know, I wasn't raised to be spoiled. My, we actually didn't have a whole lot. My mom didn't spoil me, but I was just a diva back then. I didn't have to have a reason to be. I remember uh, my daddy would uh, raise gardens. We were raised on a big farm. My daddy raised gardens, and he'd want us to get out there and pick the green beans and the corn and stuff. And I was in junior high, and I used to try to keep my nails long, keep them painted. And I would cry because I did not want to go out and pick corn and green beans because it would ruin my nails and break my nails and get dirt under my fingernails. My daddy would make me anyway. But I remember thinking that I was a princess even back then, and I didn't even have nothing to even think that I should be a princess. And I didn't, which my mommy, mommy really didn't make me do a whole lot. She didn't make me wash dishes and stuff much. I remember doing it some, but my mommy was a worker. My daddy and mommy both worked hard when we were growing up. But I remember daddy putting us in that garden and me trying to be so careful and not get my nails dirty or get them or break them. But I remember crying and trying to get out of it, but I never could. And he'd, he'd get us out there and make us mow the, mow the grass. I mean, they taught us to work. We'd done things outside. But now my mommy was, she usually done everything inside. we done a lot of stuff outside. But anyway, getting back to uh, getting married, I was 16, and I thought the world owed me everything. I was very spoiled, very jealous. I, I guess I drove my husband crazy. I thought every woman in the world was looking at him, which he was the cutest little thing. He looked like Greg Brady. He had dark, wavy hair. I'll try to show you some pictures later. I'll get Hope to help me. But he was very handsome, and I was not as pretty growing up. I got prettier with age. Not saying that I think I'm gorgeous, but I, I mean, I think I'm a pretty lady. You know, I'm I'm not one to say I don't think that I have nice features, or I, there, there's things that I really like about myself, and then there's things, of course, that I would change. But uh, but anyway, growing up, I was I had not had my braces by the end, and my teeth were bad. I never had really nice hair growing up. I was very thin, you know. I was built cute, and I was very tall and very thin, and my skin was pretty good back then. But I always thought that he was the cute one, you know, and I, I was not measuring up. So I thought every girl in the world that we passed on the street in the, in church, because we, we was always in church, me and him both were Christians when we got together. But I thought everybody was just, they everybody wanted him. Everybody was looking at him. And so I was so jealous for the first several years that we were married and I made his life miserable. I was jealous of everybody. I didn't even want him to have a friend. I didn't want him to have a girlfriend, a guy friend, you know, a, a friend that was a girl. Or I, and I, or I was jealous of family. I was jealous of everybody. It was terrible. I thought that he needed to sit and babysit me 24 hours a day. And he did spoil me. And he still spoils me. He has always spoiled me. But let me tell you about my wedding ring. Okay. We bought a little gold wedding bands. They were $50 a piece. And we just got married one night after a church service. It was not a big wedding. We did not have a big wedding. We we went on later, uh, 10 years after we were married, we did renew our vows. And we had a, a little ceremony with our kids and stuff. We dressed up and we got we had pictures. It was, a, it was a special day. But when we first got married, we just got married after a church service one night. And we did not even exchange the rings during the ceremony. We did our vows. We said, I do. I didn't even kiss him. I hugged him. When they said that, when the preacher pronounced this man and wife, I just grabbed him around the neck. I don't even think we kissed. But uh, and then after the service, we put the rings on each other, and they were just little gold bands. Well, I had it for several weeks, and we were and we fought. We fussed every day. I mean, I was the kind that I like to fuss and I like to make up, and I just I, it was a habit. I loved it. Every day, I had to find something to fuss about and make up make up over. But one day, we was at my mommy's. We lived only a few minutes from my mom and dad. My mom and dad lived up a hollow even back then. It's not where they're at now. It's a whole different area. But they lived up this hollow, and it, their house was like sitting on a bank. If you walked out into the yard, you would walk out several feet, but then it would go down over a bank, and it was like a hillside, you know, with trees and weeds and grass and all that good stuff. 
Well, I don't know what I was mad over that day. It's hard to tell. I was mad at it. I was always mad about something. I told you in my video, I was easily offended back then. I didn't feel good about myself. There was things that, you know, I was insecure about. And when you're like that, you're miserable and you make the people around you miserable. Plus, I was jealous. So, I always thought that uh, Bryant was going to leave me for a, a, a model, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. I was always jealous, insecure. So, I was miserable and I made him miserable. But we were into it one day, and I don't know why, but I took that ring off of my uh, off my finger, and I threatened to toss it over the hill. And he was like, "Well, I don't care. Go ahead and do it, or whatever." You know, he didn't he didn't baby me. When he got mad at me, he would just let me do whatever. He didn't try to calm me down or whatever. You know, he just let me go. And I tossed my wedding ring over the hill. Tossed it over the hill. Okay. <laughs> And to be honest, I thought I barely tossed it, but it was it was just a little thin. It wasn't no bigger than this little ring. It was just a little gold band like that. I don't know what I was thinking. I tossed that over the hill, and then I cried for weeks. It was so bad that my husband got a metal detector and everything and went over that hillside several times trying to find my ring, and we never could find my little gold wedding band. And I mean, I cried, and I cried, and I cried, and I never got, I, it took me forever to get, and I still think about that little ring, and it's still laying up under that, probably under layers of dirt by now, but we never could find it, never could find my little ring, so after that, I had several wedding sets, nothing extravagant or very expensive, but they were, you know, real wedding sets, and uh, so uh, I kept some of the bands from that. And this silver band, I had one wedding. This was Bryant's band. He never would wear a ring because of the work that he does. It's very dangerous. And he don't like the feel of a wedding band on his hand. So he never wore one. But I had bought him several. Now, when we first got married, he did wear his gold band for a while. But he would take it off when he would go to work. But uh, after uh, after I lost my band... I got several wedding sets after that, and one of them matched this one. And you know what? I don't know what I did with my set, but I did keep Bryant's, and it was, I'll put it on my middle finger. It's just a silver, it was a silver, it might be white gold. I'm not even for sure. I gave a pretty a lot of money for these. Probably white gold with some little diamonds. And I, I had a set that matched it, and I bought him this one. And he wore it a few times, but he's not, he's not much for rings. But I don't really know. I can't, I had forgot about that. You know what? I don't know what I did with that. I may have sized that because a lot of times I would size my rings down and give them to my girls. They got small fingers. And then this little band is another little band that came from another wedding set that I've had. I've had several little wedding sets. It's just a gold band with uh, some diamonds. And what it is, I've had these sized down to, to uh, fit my pinky. I've had this one sized down to fit my pinky. And I did wear it like that for a while. But that's just some of my sentimental jewelry. I don't have I don't have a lot of jewelry. I don't have a lot of uh, real jewelry at all. Most of my stuff is um, costume jewelry. But I've got this one bracelet. Now, it'll take a video in itself to tell you the story behind it. But I love it. But, uh, yeah, my little keepsakes. This little bag and the contents in this little bag mean a lot to me. Yeah. But, um, anyway, I'm going to stand up. I don't know if I forgot to tell you anything or not, but uh, I'm going to stand up to show you a quick outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. It's nothing special. I've got a little distressed bluish green. I don't know how well you can tell. I guess it's more blue than green, like a light blue distressed t-shirt that I got from Plato's Closet. My hair is still running on those curls from days ago. You know, I think it looks good, and when it don't, when it looks good, I usually don't wash it and mess with it. Cause once I wash my hair, I don't like my hair. After I wash it, the first few days, it is so uh, slick and thin. I hate it. I, it has to get a little grit to it before I like it. But anyway, I'll show you my outfit. And uh, okay, my camera cut off because it's a long video. But I hope you can tell with that jewelry uh, how well. It, it was nice jewelry for the price, but I will show you. Every time I wear something, I'll show it to you. And before I do leave today, I'm going to pause my camera and put those earrings on and come back and show you. But I have a little uh, t-shirt that I got from Plato's Closet. Uh, I took the tags off of it today. And I tried to uh, look at the brand, but the label is cut. It looks like it says black on it, but it's just a size small. It says green with hose, but it's more like a light blue. 
uh, with hose, and it was just six dollars from Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet has the greatest stuff, and I mean it's pre-owned most of it. Sometimes you can get new stuff, but uh, it's, it's it's like brand new when you get it. And I just put on my Seven for All Mankind jeans. You've seen these jeans a lot, and um, I put my uh, little work boot style booties, my um, Union Bay boots, and just took my uh, jeans in. It's just a real casual. I look like I need to be going and working on a construction crew today. And my hair is just long, messy curls. I love, I'm love. i loving wearing my hair down, which I know when it gets really hot this summer, it'll all stick it back up. But, uh, and of course, I've already showed my babies, uh, my little bracelet with my baby on it, and the bracelet from Izzy. I love this little bracelet. Um, and we'll put my earrings on. And I switched back over into my uh, bag from Gabriel Brothers. I thought it looked cute with the uh, boots. I like this bag when it's a, a real casual look. Now my battery is saying it's going dead. My battery to my phone is not very good. But let me go ahead and pause my camera and try my earrings on. I'll put them on for you and then I'll come back and say bye to you. I'm back with my, I'm back with my earrings. I wasn't for sure if I was recording. Sometimes I start talking before my uh, clock starts running. But as you can see, you just thread them through your ears. They were hard to get out of that package and I had to cut them out. But you see, it just threads through your lobe and just dangles like that. And I think they're really cute and edgy. But uh, anyway, my battery's going dead. I've talked probably close to 30 minutes and I hope you enjoyed this long video. I've enjoyed talking to you today. It's very pretty and sunny out today and of course I'm running to town. Get me a salad. Uh, Hope mentioned something about me and her going to some friend's house tonight and playing cards. But you guys have a great Monday. Um, Mondays are usually my cleaning days and stuff and I did get up and do uh, some laundry but I just was not feeling it today so I'm not cleaning. I, instead, I just cleaned myself up and I'm heading out to have a great day today. You guys have a great Monday. Have a great week and I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.